might feel like you eat automatically and that it's out of your control, okay? Now, I'm here to tell you, and you'll also learn for yourself, that eating is not automatic, okay? Automatic processes are involuntary, okay? For example, your heart beating, that's up to God, okay? There's nothing you could do or not do, okay? That's involuntary and that's up to God, okay? Um, you're not aware of it, but you, you, that's just what, what's happening. With eating, you may not realize it now, but there's always a thought that comes first and then you eat, okay? How do we know this, especially today? I don't know if any of you saw my video yesterday. It was actually a video from last year, but I reposted it yesterday that, you know, I showed different scenarios like I'm about to lick the batter. Oops, it's Tisha Bub, okay? Or I'm about to finish my kids' leftovers. Oops, it's Tisha Bub. Or I'm about to um, eat something because I don't want to throw it out. It's leftovers. Why would I do that? Oops, it's Tisha Bub, right? So it just goes to show as a quick example, and there's many more, that eating is not automatic, okay? If I'm able to stop because it's Tisha Bub, right? That means there was a thought process. If I'm able to not eat something because I'm Flechix or I had meat and I keep whatever I keep, an hour, three hours, six hours, right? And that time hasn't passed, okay? That means there's a thought process. If something is not kosher, right? Don't 